Hello friends, welcome back to our tutorial, designing an impressive architectural building in Revit 2018 interior. In the last tutorial, we designed the ceiling for the project. In this tutorial, we're going to import, we're going to insert the column into the porch. Go to the project browser and click the ground floor plan. Zoom in into this area. Go to the architectural tab, click the down arrow and select the architectural column. Click the down arrow and select the column that you want to use. In this project, we only have the rectangular column 24 by 24, 18 by 18, and 18 by 24. All of this isn't, isn't satisfy our design. Click the load button, double click the desktop. I'm going to navigate to a folder where I still save my custom column. You can download this column from the website. The M column have the M column and the twin column. Click the first, the M column have, and hold down the shift key and click the twin column to select all three of these columns. Click open. Revit load all of this column into the project. Now move into the Draw in area and place the column to the porch. Press escape. Go to the 3D view to see the results. Now select the column and change the change the base level to change the base level to foundation plan and the top level to first floor plan. Change the top offset to minus one foot and move the mouse cursor away from the property palette. Change the top offset again to minus one foot six and see the result. Click the X button to close this view. Click the modify button to cancel out of current command. Click the scroll bar and change the underlay to ground floor plan. Now zoom in into this area Go to the modify panel, click the align command. Pick the midpoint of this wall and align the center point of this column. Click the padlock to lock the column at the center of this column. Press escape. Change the underlay, in, the underlay to first floor plan. Go to the modify panel and select the align command. Click the center of this wall and align the center of this column to that wall. Click the padlock to lock the column. Now go to the quick access toolbar and click the section command. Draw a section from this point to this point. Right click the section plan and select go to view. Zoom in into this area. Select the column and change the top offset to minus 1 foot 8. Move the mouse cursor away from the properties palette. Change the column height to 9 feet and move the mouse cursor to see the result. Now change the stone pitch height to 8 feet and move the mouse cursor to the away from the, the property palette to see the result. Go to the default 3D view. Hold down the shift key and your middle mouse button to see the result. Go to the ground floor plan. Select this column. Go to the modify panel and select the mirror draw axis. Use the midpoint object snap and snap to the midpoint of this wall. Move the mouse cursor to the right and click to mirror the column on the opposite side. Click the default 3D view to see the result. Select this column. Go to the clipboard panel and select the copy command. Click the down arrow and select align to paste level. Select first floor plan and click OK. Now go to the first floor plan. Zoom in and go to the modify panel. Click the align command. Click the center of this wall and align this column, the center of this column to that, to the center of the wall. Click the padlock bo button to lock it. Click the modify button. Go to the default 3D view to see the result. Hold down the shift key and your middle mouse button to orbit. Now go to the front elevation. 
zoom in into this area go to the quick access tool and select the aligner dim dimension command click the edge of this beam and the edge of this column the distance is two feet five now select this column change the stone pitch to eight feet five so the distance between the pitch and the column is two feet select this column change the top offset to zero and the base offset to zero now select this column change the top offset to six inches move the cursor away from the properties palette zoom in into this area change the top offset back to four inches move the mouse cursor away from the properties palette to see the result and go to the quick access tool by select the align dimension command click on this edge this edge move the mouse cursor away and click select the column change the stone pit height to six feet 11 inches move the mouse cursor away from the properties palette click the x button to close this view hold down the shift key and your middle mouse button to orbit go to the first floor plan select this column go to the modify panel and select the mirror draw axis start the mirror line at the midpoint of this wall move the mouse cursor to the right and click with this column selected click the down arrow and change it to the end column half press the tab key to flip the column into the right orientation go to the 3d view, default 3d view to see the result click the x button to close select this column and notch the column out of the wall now use the align command click the click at the edge of this wall and snap the column to that edge now go to the front elevation click this window and click this pad block icon to uncomp nudge the window to the right nudge it nudge the window to the right zoom in into this area go to the modify panel and select the align command click the edge of this column and click the edge of this window lock it to constrain into this column select this window and click the padlock to unconstrain this window to the door select this window and click the eq button notch the window to the right to unconstrain the window now use the align command click the edge of this window and the edge of this window constrain it to the top window click the close the reveal constraint click this x button to close the view go to the default 3d view to see the result go to the first floor plan select this column go to the modify panel and select the copy command click at the corner of this column move the mouse cursor up check the constraint and move the mouse cursor up and click now go to the quick access tool and select the align dimension command click the edge of this column and the uh, edge of this column then click at the mid point of this column move the mouse cursor out and click click the eq button click the modify button select the dimension and hit delete on your keyboard click on constraint go to the 3d default 3d view to see the, deep, the results go to the ground floor plan go to the architectural tab building panel click the down arrow and select architectural column and select the twin column move the mouse cursor into the drawing area and paste this column go to the default 3d view to see the result the column is not pasted in that view click this to paste the column press escape to get out of the command now go to the ground floor plan go to the modify panel select the align command click the face of this wall and the face of this column 
click the modify button to cancel the comma select the column and change the base offset to minus one foot change the top offset to minus one foot six move the mouse cursor away from the properties palette click into the drawing area now we need to move this beam we need to align this beam to this wall go to the modify panel and select the align command select the face of this wall and select the face of this beam press escape twice to get out of the command hold down the shift key and your middle mouse button to orbit and see the results go to the ground floor plan select this section view extend the section to the left click on the this viewport and extend it to the left right click the section view go to view select the column and change the top offset to minus two feet six move the mouse cursor away from the property palette to see the result change the top offset to minus three feet move the mouse cursor away from the property palette to see the result go to the default 3d view to see the result select the this floor click edit boundary go to the ground floor plan go to the modify panel and select the offset command change the offset distance to two feet to two feet six and uncheck the copy option offset this line to the right click ok select no go to the default 3d view to see the result in the modify panel select the align command click the face of this floor and the face of this wall click the modify button to get out of the command select this ceiling click edit boundary click the align command click the face of this wall and click the sketch line to align this wall click the green check mark go to the ground floor plan we need to unconstrain this column click the reveal constraint and click this dash line click the padlock icon to unconstrain the column click the close reveal constraint go to the modify panel and select the align command click the midpoint of the, the midpoint of this column and the midpoint of this column go to the default 3d view to see the result if revit asks you to save your model go ahead and save the model click the modify button we need to unconstrain this wall from the column to do that select the wall and click the padlock icon you can also click the review constraint to see if there is any other constraint from this beam. Now select the align command, select the face of this slab and the face of this wall. Click the modify button. Hold down the shift key and your middle mouse button to orbit and see the results. Go to the ground floor plan, select this section, use the move tool and move the section in inside this spot right click the view go to view select the ceiling change the offset height to eight feet move the mouse cursor away from the properties palette to see the result change the offset height back to eight feet ten inches and move the mouse cursor away from the properties palette go to the default 3d view to see the result zoom in into this area select the ceiling and click edit boundary go to the ground floor plan select this sketch line over the mouse cursor you see the move cursor click and move this line inside go to the modify panel and select the align command select the face of this wall click the sketch line to align it onto that face select the trim extend to corner button select this sketch line this sketch line Click the modify button. Hover the mouse cursor to this sketch line and hit the tab key. Click once. Hit delete on your keyboard. Make sure that this sketch line align with the internal part of this wall. 
You can prove this by using the align dimension. Click the face of this slab and measure this sketch line. Move the mouse cursor away and click. Do the same thing from the bottom to the top. Move the mouse cursor away and click. Click the modify button. Now select this sketch line and change the value to 7 inches. Click outside. Select the sketch line. Change this value to 7 inches. Press enter. Now select the dimension. Hit delete on your keyboard. Select the dimension and hit delete on your keyboard. Click the green check mark. Go to the default 3D view to see the result. Click the X to close this view. Right click this section and select go to view. Zoom in into this area. Select this wall. We need to align this ceiling. Either we align this ceiling to the edge of the slab or we drop down the wall. So that there will be no gap in this area. To do that select the ceiling and select the edit boundary. But you cannot edit a ceiling in this view. So AutoCAD give you this dialog box to go to view dialog box. Select the ground floor plan. This open the ground floor plan. Use the align command and align this sketch line to the face of this wall. Click the green check mark. Close this view to go back to the previous view and see the results. Click the default 3D view to see the results. Alright, in this tutorial we insert some custom column. If you want to if you want to use the same you can use whatever column that's available to you. But if you want to use this column, you can go and download them on the website. In the next tutorial, we're going to model the flower pot and the front step. If you like this tutorial, please click the like button and share it to your friends. If you have any question, please leave a comment below. If you want to continue this tutorial or any other tutorial on my channel, please subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next class. Goodbye.